We're going to put out a short video since it's the holidays. But in this video and new series, I'm going to talk about consistency in FLL. Specifically, how you make sure your robot actually works at competitions so everyone isn't super frustrated. In this video specifically, we're going to talk about how to start the robot consistently. Because you cannot have a consistent robot without a consistent starting position. An FLL robot won't work if it's placed in the wrong starting position, but the effects of a wrong starting position for a robot drastically increase whenever the robot goes further and further away from the launch area. And so the first part to any consistent robot is the starting position, and we're going to talk about that. Here is a demonstration of a vague starting position. In this situation, I just wanted to place the robot roughly in the middle of the launch area. Now, you may notice that the robot kind of has a lot of variability as to where it will end up, both because the robot is vaguely aimed to the west area, but it's not exactly aimed to the west area, and then also <laughs> on the east, west, or north, south directions, it's also not really aligned. And so it is difficult for me to try to accurately aim the robot purely this way. Something else worth mentioning is that it's also significantly more difficult to accurately aim the robot quickly in a match if the starting position of the robot is relatively vague like it is here. In this next example, I used two NXTs, which is a foreshadowing for one of the later videos, to align the robot against only the south wall. Now, you can see already how big of a drastic improvement this change has made. The robot is now consistently landing in roughly the same area. However, it isn't perfect, and as the robot is aligned against a jig against the south wall, the robot is still slightly variable towards the east and west direction. Now, finally, although I don't think this is legal in an FLL match, I will align the robot using a jig for the south wall, slightly smaller one this time, but we will also align it using a jig for the east wall. And you can see that the robot consistently lands in the same position. Also notice when I align the robot, this is very quick. We do not have to do any aiming. It's just quickly shove the robot against the jigs on both sides, go. And that's it. If your team wants to use jigs successfully, it's very important that they have at least one flat side of the robot that can contact the jig. If your robot has a lot of jagged edges that stick out of the robot in all kinds of places, it's going to be very difficult to design a jig that would actually work for the robot, as the jig must not obstruct the robot from actually leaving the home area. I will release more videos in the future about consistency, but I felt that this would be a good starting point, as, well, robots start in the launch area, so how to start the robot in a consistent way is important. Your team will also probably find that practicing setting up the robot in the correct starting position is going to make the robot more consistent as well, as there will be less potentially incorrectly set up mechanisms or incorrectly placed robots as your team gets better. That will be all for this video. I'm going to try to release one more before the year is over. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like on the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and if you want an experienced FLL mentor who has led many teams to World Festival, you can check me out on the Fiverr link down below to hire me. Finally, feel free to comment down below if you have any other consistency tricks that your team uses down below. Thank you.